Hey there, my name is Joey Randazzo and I'm the owner of SEO Growth Partners based here in Portland, Oregon. And in this video, I wanna talk about the value of dynamic content and sort of the underutilization of it. There's a lot of brands that have the opportunity to leverage dynamic content and create some really, really cool opportunities. And so I want this video to be an actual case study, an actual walkthrough of what you can do and, uh, and use this as a thought exercise that you can use for your dynamic content strategy. So this brand is called Coffee Review. We're just getting started with them this week, um, but I wanted to walk through the process and the idea that we have here. And again, you can use this as a thought exercise. So they've got, they're essentially the wine spectator of coffee. They've got thousands and thousands of, of coffees being reviewed. Um, 15, 000, uh, 1,500 plus coffees um, that have at least 94 points or higher. They reviewed tens of thousands of different coffees over the last 20 years. And so they have all this content. They've got specific reviews for every single uh, type of coffee. And they have um, these coffees tagged, uh, very robustly tagged in the back end. But they're underutilizing, again, their opportunity for dynamic content. So it's really important to understand how are people searching about coffee. And one of the things that people are searching for is they're searching for uh, coffee by country. And there's a huge volume of this. You know, for example, Costa Rica coffee has 2,400 people searching per month, over 25,000 per year. And that's just one keyword variation. Um, you know, there's Costa Rican coffee, there's coffee Costa Rica. The volume here is closer to 10,000 people per month. However, they don't have a page for listing out all of their, uh, of an indexed page. That's a really important thing. Uh, listing out all of their Costa Rica coffees. Um, and so, for example, the, the really low hanging up uh, uh, fruit opportunity is to do a region Page so that folks can search by region, whether that's uh, North America, South America, Central America, and then going to maybe a Central America page where all of the countries of Central America are listed, and then a Costa Rica page. All of this dynamic content now becomes really, really valuable at scale. They can create a region page for Africa. They can create a region page for South America. They can create a region page for wherever. Um, and now they can have a specific page for Costa Rica. And now this page can, similar to this page here, it can automatically populate based off of the dynamic content structure that they've already built through a tagging process. And it can automatically populate all of the Costa Rican coffees. Now here's where it gets interesting. And again, where people underutilize dynamic content is it shouldn't just be a page that lists all of the coffees. There should be some static content as well. So, you know, you've got to get the URL structure right, which I've kind of mapped out here. You've got to get the title tag and meta description right, because that's what's really important as well for uh, the SERPs. And then there's an opportunity for static content. You know, an H1 tag of a list of, of 1,000 plus Costa Rican coffees um, and then there's some static content as well, explaining some, some very basic information about Costa Rican coffees, what people should consider X, Y, Z before getting in to the dynamic content below. So now that's what's where it requires a little bit more time, energy, and effort is each of the pages, whether it's Ethiopia or Costa Rica or Guatemala or Colombia or, uh, Peru all of these pages need a little bit of, of extra love. It's not just set it and forget it. Um, you know, oh, we'll just create a page for Costa Rica, automatically throw all the Costa Rican coffees on that page and then leave it be, right? You need to make sure you get the title tag, meta description, header tags, um, as well as some static content that can be really valuable. And so with this strategy, again, they've got the, 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 the groundwork laid for all of this dynamic content. We're expecting an additional in six months from now, about 150,000 website visitors per month coming to these specific pages. This is a, a specific case study. It's gonna depend on your brand. They've been doing this stuff for a while. They've got a high uh, domain authority um, and, uh, and they've laid some, some really awesome authoritative groundwork to be able to, to do this. But, um, 
there are still things that need to be done right. So if you've got a dynamic content structure with tagging, you can do something like this. And all of a sudden now, you know, again, you can create content at scale pretty quickly. They can create a country page for every single country um, that produces coffee in a matter of a couple weeks. Um, and it can populate with awesome, rich content that is a function of the, the dynamic content that lives on their site. So if you're struggling with how to figure out how to leverage dynamic content for SEO, um, reach out to us. Uh, we've done this before and we've got sort of some formulas and, and checklists and things that we've done in, in essentially case studies that have proven success. Go to portlandseogrowth.com uh, to reach out.